Hi, I'm Mike Ruiz. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can turn yourself into an astronaut and also in a cool way with a cool artwork. And I just also wanted to say thank you. There are already 200 of you here on this channel, which is totally amazing. And without further talking, let's go straight to the Photoshop and start doing some magic. The first thing, I've got a photo of an astronaut, which I found on pexels.com site, which has a lot of nice free photos you can use. And I go to select and I choose subject to create a quick mask for our subject. And you can see I'm fixing some places. I just also created a red background to see exactly what I'm doing. I'm deleting some parts using pen tool. And then I create a new artwork with a 4K resolution and I import our astronaut there. We're gonna create a cool wallpaper. That's why I'm gonna go with 4K resolution. And I also import a face, which I want to put on our astronaut. We don't need a head, we don't need a hair, we just only need a face. And I'm gonna put the face here. So I'm also creating a new mask. And I put the face, and I change the color, I add some shadows to make it more real, and that's all. Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs> no, just kidding. Let's go back to our artwork. I'm gonna extract some reflections from the original picture to make the face a bit more real and imitate those reflections uh, which are on the helmet. And you can see it blends nice with our new head. It just gives more realism to the scene. I flip the head to the other side. It looks a bit better from the other side. I put blue background with stars. We're gonna put our astronaut in a space, in a galaxy. And then I put a planet, which is from unsplash.com and probably is the most popular image when you type galaxy. And I create a moon and I duplicate the moon a few times and I use Gaussian blur to make the moon a bit more glowing. And then I start playing with some shadows. So I create new adjustment layers, I create exposure adjustment layer, and you can see that with mask and brushes, I brush some places to imitate some shadows. And then I create a hue saturation layer, and I create some blue color to make it more clear that the galaxy is affecting with the light our astronaut. And then I found this picture of paint and I thought it's gonna be cool to use. What I like about doing some galaxy artworks is you can import anything and it's gonna be okay because it's galaxy and who the hell knows what is there <laughs> in some another universe. So I changed the color of this paint. I make the paint on, on the left side red and on the other side I left a paint with a blue color. And then I move back to the head. I wanted to blend it a bit more with our scene. So I put some hue saturation layers and add some colors to it. And I also lower brightness a bit. And then I import a new planet. And I use the same techniques as I use on the moon. And then I import some sparks. And I change the color of the sparks. And I put them on the right side. And I put some sparks on the left side. And I use some transform tool to change the shape of it. And I duplicate sparks even more to make those small details. I again play with some lights and shadows on our astronaut. You can see that I'm playing with few saturation. And I create new hue saturation layer and I use blending modes. <laughs> I add some brightness to the background. And I again play with lights. New hue saturation layer, new color. Above the background, I create a new hue saturation layer and I create some orangish colors to add a bit more color at the left side. And then I import some smoke 
and I change the color of the smoke and I blend it on the lighten blending mode with our scene. I play with brightness and contrast and you can see that I put some uh, blue smoke on the right side and also some orangish smoke on the left side. And also one orange smoke next to our orange planet to imitate those glowing effect a bit more. And of course, what we need right now is what? Particles. So let's import some particles and blend them with our artwork. So I put the particles on screen mode on the left side and on the right side I duplicate them and I change the colors to blue. I add some more light on the edges of our astronaut. And I found this picture of different particles and I thought it's gonna go well with our artwork. So I just put the image on the screen mode and I blend it with our artwork. And I change the color to blue. And I duplicate it to the left side and I change the color to orange. You can see that it adds some nice details. So I duplicate it a few times. And I create a new hue saturation layer as the first layer on our scene to make sure that it's affecting the whole artwork. And I put the hue saturation layer on an orange color and I paint some orange on the left side. I boost a bit light which the stars are imitating. I add some shadows beneath our astronaut to make sure that it pop out a bit more. And I create a new layer with a gray color and I put it on overlay mode and I add some shadows. And I add new brightness and color adjustment layer and I add some lights in a few places. And then I add a solid color with a mask on it and I put it on linear doge mode and I try to imitate some glowing effects here and there. And I duplicate it and I change the color to orange and I do the same on the left side. And I add some new shadows. When we are happy with what we have, I make a copy of a whole image and then I go to filter, blur and radial blur and I create this zoomish kind of blur effect, which you can see right now. And I put this a new layer with this new blur effect on lighten mode and I mask it on the places where I want it to see. And for the last step, of course, as usual, we go to camera row filter and we tweak some values. Just use your eyes to see what works great for your eyes and what's not. There are no magic values here. You can see that I'm just playing with those values. And I also go to color mixer and I play with those values too, to see what colors I can boost and what colors I can lower, the saturate. And I go to color grading and I also play with values there. And I add some field blur to add a bit of depth to our image. Just make sure that everything at the center is sharpened. Just blur the sides of the image. And I add some chromatic aberration effect and a bit of vignette. And that's it for today's lesson. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something from it. Please give a like, comment and subscribe to see more of this kind of videos. Tell me in comments what would you like to see next. And to the next time. Bye.